Welcome to the Mind Vine Podcast, where we challenge the stigma associated with mental illness through conversations about a variety of issues impacting mental health. Here we bring you news, views, and interviews that intrigue, educate, and celebrate recovery. Leading us on this journey are the hosts of the Mind Vine Podcast, Daryl Mathers and Chris Bovey. Welcome to the Mind Vine Podcast. My name is Daryl Mathers, and I'm without Chris Bovey for now, my regular co host, but uh, we taped a segment uh, that will appear a little later on in this episode. Um, so you will hear his lovely voice uh, a little later on. But I have a special guest today. It's our VP and uh, Chief Nursing Executive, Sanaz Rahahi. Hopefully, I, yeah. I didn't uh, butcher that too badly. So, welcome to the podcast. Thank you. And this is your first time appearing. It's actually kind of funny. Um, Barb Milden, your predecessor, was our first podcast guest nice. uh, two years ago. And now uh, you're here to talk about different things that are going on, uh, not only at Ontario Shores, but in our um, larger mental health uh, community. So one of the things I want to talk to you about, or the thing I wanted to talk to you about, was Big White Wall. Uh, it's new to uh, Canada and Ontario specifically. And I uh, wonder if you could... Uh, tell us a little bit about what Big White Wall actually is Definitely. all about. Definitely. So Big White Wall is an online mental health tool uh, that really anybody can use and sign on. And it, there's lots of opportunities for people to sign on uh, to have some peer experiences about uh, mental health. So I can go on to uh, Big White Wall, uh, really be able to share my experience, share what's happening with me and get support back from people that are really going through the same lived experience. Uh, and then there's also online resources for a big white wall as well uh, where uh, people can really use them uh, their evidence base to support them in the, uh, any of their anxiety depression t- mood disorder type of uh, experiences that they're going through but it really can be for anybody uh, you don't necessarily have to be diagnosed with a mental illness to be able to use big white wall and it's for free uh, so there has been some really good opportunities for people to sign on and experience some good uh, good experiences and outcomes from it and yeah, all you need is a postal code exactly. uh, to log in. It's completely free exactly. for residents of Ontario. Um, it's originated out of the UK. Yes. And I know that people always wonder about the name, what the name means. And uh, from what I understand, you know, there was a part uh, in London where there was construction going on and there was a, there was a, uh, a white wall near the site and people were posting messages about how it made them feel that this neighborhood was was changing and it's kind of the kind of the idea behind the big white wall as a mental health resource is you get to share with not only clinicians but 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 peers i wonder in the mental health world you've been on all over the place not only in ontario but around the world talking about Mm -hmm. like digital mental health and, and kind of the movement that we're seeing how big a moment is this in mental health care in Ontario to have a digital resource like this available to uh, to Ontarians. Yeah. Definitely, we know that over the past number of years, we've had such an increased demand for mental health care and for a number of reasons, you know, greater awareness, reduction in stigma, um, and then opportunities from a uh, budget perspective. So the, the, the um, resources that are now more available to us because there's more awareness about the needs of mental health. We know that one in four people are affected um, with mental health uh, issues. And so um, I think that because of the increased demand, we no longer can just support people with the traditional uh, facilities and supports that we have in place right now. So I think going virtual and having these online digital tools available is another venue for us to be able to provide support for people and giving them access. So there's different ways, for example, for Big White Wall that we can be using is, uh, for example, if you're somebody that's on a wait list waiting for access for care, this is something that you can go on to and start to really uh, benefit the values from it, uh, of experiencing what others are going through, sharing what you're going through while you're waiting for service. But at the same time, if you're already getting uh, some sort of treatment in in a uh, mental health facility like Ontario Shores, you can also still use it. Um, Or even if you're well, you can Mm -hmm. still use it just for the experience of being able to uh, get the benefits from it. So we know, you know, some of the benefits for the big white wall that have come up is that you're getting, uh, you feel less isolated. so when we looked at the uh, some of the experiences people have shared is that sometimes, you know, at 9 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night, I'm going through something that I need to just express myself and share and then get some support uh, from other people, perhaps. And so Big White Wall is just online. You go on onto it and you can really be able to get that support during times where there might be no resources available mm-hmm. to you. And so uh, I think that 
virtual aspects are really providing greater aspect to people. And this is the time uh, in our society where there's those, not only the expectations, uh, but also I think uh, there's good value that we're seeing from it. And so people are becoming more comfortable with it. I think the, the mental health issues is a big piece because I don't, you don't need a diagnosed mental health issue to reap the benefits of being on a, on a tool like this. And uh, it could be a situation where maybe it's job loss mm -hmm. or grief or Absolutely. some type of one of life's issues where you might need some you know, additional support or like you said, at, uh, at an hour where you can't necessarily access yeah. care or, or an EAP or that type of program. Exactly. Um, you, the point before that I thought was really key because we're growing up, or like this generation is growing up with uh, you know technology that we've never seen before, yeah. and expectations that yeah. we've never seen before. Exactly. And is this in your mind like just the beginning of us kind of trying to meet the demands of this these generations that are growing up expecting to access these types of services in the way that they want to access them? You know, I really truly think uh, it is, it's both, I think, an expectation of the society and the evolution of what's happening, but at the, sa at, and at the same time, we know that with the health human resources that we have right now, we have to do things differently. And I think so it's a two-pronged uh, perspective from my view, but that, you know, I do my banking online, people can get groceries online, people can uh, really do a lot of their day-to-day -day activities online, and that shouldn't be different than getting supports uh, that they want in, in real time rather than having to wait. And we know that our services right now for, for mental health um, are not real time most of the time, that there is a wait time just given uh, the resources that we have and the demands that we have. And so I think this really gives that opportunity and it's an expectation of the society as well to be able to get um, real-time access to things that they, they need. And I think this is very much the beginnings of us being innovative, thinking differently, and being able to really give people that uh, support that they need uh, really have, uh, in a non-traditional way. And one of the things too, even though this is a... Uh, UK originated resource. Mm -hmm. It's been Canadianized, for yes. lack of a better term. Um, BigWhiteWall.ca. Um, we have wall guides who are professionals, yes. uh, clinicians that uh, um, monitor the site 24/7, and we have Canadian wall guides yeah. uh, as well to help monitor the uh, the site. Yeah. And I think that's what's unique about this online tool is that it actually has a clinical aspect to it as well. So it's not really, um, although it's very similar to the experiences of. Uh, some social media tools that are out there. Uh, this has a clinical aspect to it where there's the wall guide who is a clinical uh, master's prepared clinician who is overseeing uh, the, uh, the big white wall, the information that's happening with the assistance of, there's a clinical alg algorithms that highlight things that they need to really address. So the wall guide can really reach out to individuals when they're un identifying um, some critical conversation that's happening to provide them that extra dose of support per se, uh, which I think is very unique and that really is where uh, the safety and the benefits are also built into the tool it itself. Well thank you very much for for joining us we're we're going to talk a bit more about the promotion of Big White Wall uh, the second half of the podcast but it's sure. uh, it was nice to have you on your first My time pleasure. on the podcast you great. did great thank you and uh, <laughs> if, for more information go to bigwhitewall.ca or ontarioshores.ca to access the link thank, thank you very you. much. We're pleased to welcome Kalia Guile uh, from Peterborough. I'm hopeful that I got the name pronunciation <laughs> uh, reasonably accurate. So first of all, welcome. Thank you. And uh, for those who may not know, you you know you are a working actor, um, and you came across a, an audition or an opportunity to participate in promotion of Big White Wall, which mm -hmm. is an online mental health resource. And you're now the star of the Big White Wall <laughs> promotions, not just in our uh, area, but across Ontario. So yeah. um, how did that all come about? And were you exci more excited about this job maybe than some other opportunities you've had, yeah. just given the nature of the, uh, the subject matter? Yeah, definitely. And um, yeah, so I, I just got like this email from my agent. Shout out to Fridell. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she knows me really well. And so she, um, she saw this and she's like, I think this is perfect for you. And um, so I just, I looked at the email and um, like right away, I'm like, okay, like, this is like I really want to be a part of this and um, and you know like most auditions like they have uh, like 
instructions like, you know, stand, you know, right in the center, you know, have good lighting and like um, shoot it this way. Here's the script and everything. And they literally just asked, um, can you uh, talk about a time where you felt really like alone? And so I just went into my backyard <laughs> and I just like, I just like um, held my camera up and I just talked to the camera for like a good 10 minutes just about like my, um, like a story of mine and um, I sent it in and then uh, I just got an in-person audition like two days later and then I booked it. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, actors will often talk about drawing upon personal experiences and things yeah. that they go through and I wonder if you'd be okay sharing a little bit about, um, you know, obviously Big White Wall is a support for people with moderate anxiety and depression, but, you know, the mental health theme and what what as you sort of thought about doing this commercial and your own personal connection? Yeah, so um, I think it's just like really important because it's it's something that touches everybody. Like if it's not yourself then it's, you know, your parents, it's your sister, it's your brother. And for me personally, it's, you know, my little brother that I, I take care of and I, like, I have to be like this, um, I put this pressure on myself to be like this, like, uh, you know, really strong person all the time because he's dealing with things that I can't even, you know, imagine every single day. And um, yeah, he has uh, autism and OCD and Tourette's. And so just his world is completely different from mine. Yeah. And so I just, um, it ties in with my own mental health because like I'm putting so much pressure on myself to just like, uh, you know, just be, like be his, uh, that person for him like all the time like I can't you know break down I can't you know everything like that right. and so you know um, for me like I have a problem just like opening up to people about my own problems right. and so when I'm so used to just like taking care of you know him and just like people come to me with their problems and like I'm just kind of you know absorbing oh, yeah. everything yeah, yeah. Sure. and so um, I'm just like learning to overcome that fear of uh just talking to people and you know yeah, you, <laughs> you know like yeah, talk a little bit earlier about you know um obviously this is a passion for you to acting yeah and that, that you're on the same token you're dealing with a little bit of anxiety about performing and, and being yeah active. um how, how was it like you talk about that first commercial you did like have you have you seen growth in yourself yeah, as well? Yeah, definitely. Like going through this process? Yeah, it's, it's honestly been probably one of the best decisions of my life. Like, um, just like mentally for like everything. It's improved like everything in my life. Just like, um, I don't want to say forcing myself. You know, you shouldn't do things that you're completely uncomfortable with. But um, it was, I was really scared of just uh, putting myself out there and just... Um, you know, yeah, just putting myself out there and just challenging like, yourself. Yeah, challenging myself, and so it's it's really helped me, um, you know, just overcome that and just uh, you know, like when I when I like booked BMW, it was like this entire world, and I'm like, oh my god, like like I, <laughs> like I'm doing this, and like I'm going, you know, over to Vancouver. I'm not with my parents. It's like it was like this whole um, crazy experience, and it just. Um, yeah, it's definitely like had a really positive butterfly effect. So you've on you've, me. Yeah. <laughs> you've worked on a couple of different projects. Yeah. And uh, you mentioned BMW was kind of your first big break, and and now you're kind of living this moment. And yeah. there was uh, an article done in your community paper about your involvement uh, in Big White Wall and their promotion. Has there been much reaction from your friends and family that have seen um, yeah. th the media pieces and your connection to it? Yeah, I got a lot of people saying that they cried <laughs> and <laughs> that really like touched me and um, the directors were really uh, like uh, touched making it. And we, we, it was like a very emotional just like set day for everybody. Like we were all just like, like crying and just like hugging each other because it was just like this, um, there's just like this like I don't know if like catharsis is the right word, but like, yeah. you know, when like a project is just kind of coming to life yeah. and it's like, um, you know, just this story. And we were shooting, we were shooting that last scene where it says you are not alone. And we were just, we were just all like, it was like just true, like um, emotion. And everybody was just like, oh my gosh, like, like it's, it's come to life. And like, once we saw it, it was just, my parents were really emotional and <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah. 
Did you have to do much in preparing for that shoot at all, or did you um, just kind of go on set and here's here's what we're doing? Kind, yeah, yeah, kind of. Um, during the like the in-person audition, we just like I went through the the last scene of just like walking up to it and um, oh no, sorry, the first scene. Yeah, like walking up and like noticing something and. Um, but uh, yeah, it was more when I was on the set and it, it was all like chronological. So it was, you know, me going up and it was all um, like as if it was really happening. And like right. I was seeing everybody right up on the wall and everything. And then the very last scene was, um, you know, me seeing it all at the very end. And they're like, all right, it's wrapped. Mm -hmm. And yeah. <laughs> and how were you when you first watched the final product? <laughs> oh, I, I was I was pretty emotional. I was like, oh, my gosh. like. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like once you're once you're on set, it's it's totally different, different. watching it. Yeah, cause you're like, oh yeah. my gosh, that shot took like hours to get, and um, yeah. But I was really happy with the the outcome, and I feel like I'm part of something that's really cool, and yeah. Being a part of something that's a little, um, I don't know, more meaningful is the right word, but you've you know you've done uh, different projects, um, maybe with more of a consumer-driven yeah. purpose. Whereas, I mean, I guess we're ultimately trying to get people to be consumers of Big White Wall, but it yeah. is for um, um, uh, the greater good, uh, for lack of a better term. Does it, is it more rewarding being part of something that is promoting a service that can help people who are living yes. with mental health issues? Yes, yeah, it, like 100%. Like, I, when, when I was... Um, like when I, when I was actually shooting it, I'm like, this, it doesn't even feel like work. And like um, once, just like kind of the the aftermath of it, of just kind of, like I'm still you know part of it. It's something I'm still you know um, uh, a part of and like kind of like promoting because I know the meaning of it. I know how important it is to, for people and for people like me who you know um, have trouble just like talking to people and being open to people. Right. It's something that's um, you know, it's 24-7. You can talk to anybody anytime. You know, you can pull up the app on your phone and you can just, you know, at four in the morning if you're having like a really tough time or if you've had a bad day at work, you can just talk to anybody and it's anonymous and yeah, um, it's, it's, yeah. So I, I love to promote it and, and everything just because I, I know like the, um, I would love to hear about it if I was, you know, if it was the other way around right. and so. Mm -hmm. It's definitely the most meaningful thing I've been a part of. <laughs> and I, I'm guessing with your experience with your with your brother and your you know the the challenges your family faces on a daily basis, you can really relate to needing some type of support, maybe yeah. at off hours or in untraditional ways. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I, I use the app myself. Like, um, if I you know like when I'm um, you know I was talking about like just uh, like the build up of you know always being like the shoulder to cry on for people and stuff because I'm I'm usually like this really strong person and I I'm, I used to just kind of force myself to be like that all the right. time and so this allows me to you know for once be understood by other people and that's a really good feeling for me <laughs> so yeah so in non big white wall related news what uh, what's next for you what are you working on uh, where can people find you um, right now, I'm just kind of going with the flow. I, I really enjoy acting as um, a way to put myself out there. As I was talking about, it's like a, it's kind of therapeutic for me to, um, uh, you know, just, um, it's, it's, it's kind of like, like for art, you know, it's, you know, you're putting emotions into it, you know, you're, it's, it's kind of like, uh, it's like that as well. Like acting is just another medium for me to use to express myself and, it's really good for people like me that have a hard time doing that in yeah. other ways. So. And you've done, you've done both movies and TV. You did Degrassi. But I, what? Yeah. What? Um, is it? Do you have one that you like better or experience? <laughs> or is there some area you'd like to go into more in, in sort um, of the film industry? I I'd really love to do like, uh, I'd I'd love to do like a full length movie. I've only done some shows and short films, but okay. I'd really love to be. A in, yeah, yeah, a full <laughs> like you know, um, yeah. I think that would be really cool. Exotic locale somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Bro's not yeah. exotic enough. <laughs> pretty, well, when you grew up in Lindsay, it was pretty exotic. Yeah. <laughs> um, so thank you for thank you. joining us and and talking about your experience in helping um, promote Big White Wall to Ontarians. 
And uh, if people want to find you, is there a website that they can find or on social media? Is there, yeah. uh, how um, can people find you? I'm on Instagram mostly. Um, yeah, at uh, yeah, it's at Leia G. So it's just L. Yeah, I'm probably you can put a little thing in yes, there. Yes, I to spell. will. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Yeah, but um, yeah, that and Facebook, and that's pretty much it right now. But well. yeah. Well, we appreciate you <laughs> sharing this experience yeah, and and the experience of your family. Uh, yeah, I know that's sure. not always easy for people to do. So we appreciate you being so honest and uh, and being here today and helping us help other people. So thank yeah. you. Thank, thank you, you guys thank so you. much. Thank you. You're awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>